Now we're going to move into and set up for the next aspect of the state board exam, which will be permanent waving. Sanitize my hands. Then I will go into the bag and retrieve the items I need and set up for this service. Now I will begin setting up my station. Once I have removed all of my items for this uh, section, I'm going to dispose of the bag in the trash, sanitize my hands once again, and now I'm about to start working on my permanent wave section of the exam. Now I will begin my application of the perm rods. For this section, we have 20 minutes to complete it. First thing I will do is sanitize my hands. Remembering to keep your comb in your hand. Pick up my comb, my water to saturate. Saturating helps the end paper to stick and grab the hair when you pull it to get tension. You can always dampen each rod if it gets dry. You can book in, you can double book in, however you feel works better for you. Get the tension over direct and bring that down. Don't put tension on the front of your rod because as that hair swells, it will break off in real life. Remembering your section cannot be wider than your, the diameter of your rod. Choice of rods will determine, be determined. You need the rod, the hair to wrap around that rod two and a half times in order to get a good curl. So if you find that your hair is not wrapping, you need to get a smaller rod. I've completed the, the riding aspect of this section. Now I'm going to sanitize my hands and step back to indicate that I've completed this section and wait for further instructions. At this point, I would step back up. I would sanitize my hands again. I would get my cotton after I put my gloves on because this is going to be the chemical aspect. I've been instructed to demonstrate saturation, so I will step back up, sanitize my hands, retrieve my base, my orange wood stick, seal my base back up. This will go in the trash. And if I was doing the whole head, I would base all the way around. sensitive around the ears. Make sure you get it on the ears, behind the ear, because the product can run sometimes and you want to make sure she is protected. Around the bottom of the nape, across the back of the neck. Then I would take my cotton. If this was a service service, I would put it around her forehead, over her ears. But in this scenario, we're just going to wrap the section that we're going to saturate. And I will retrieve my solution that is labeled in English. Remove the red cap. You want to saturate top, middle, bottom of each rod. Do not touch the rods or the hair with the product, with the tip. Seal and throw into the trash. I have finished the uh, saturation aspect and I will step back. I've been instructed to, re to demonstrate a test curl. I will step forward, sat sanitize my hands once again. When I re roll this out two and a half times, push it forward and I should see an S-shaped curve pattern within the hair that was on the rod. Replace it back per the instructions step back to indicate that I've completed that section. I've been instructed to remove one rod. I step forward, 
sanitize my hands. I will remove one rod. They are looking for, at this point, fish hooks. So I will pull it. Don't pull your rod, roll the rod until you get to the end and it should be a clear straight line through your paper. This will go in the trash. This will go in the items to be disinfected. I would step back to indicate that I have finished that section. After being instructed to remove the remaining rods, I would step forward, sanitize my hands, and begin removing the products off of my client. All of, the, all of these products will go in the trash. The rods will go into the items to be disinfected, and the end papers as well will go into the trash. Once I've removed all the rods, I will step back to indicate that I'm finished and wait for further instructions.